Hello everyone, it's Lisa here for Picket Fence Studios to share the September 2021 release with you. And let me tell you, there is, as always, plenty to love and we have lots of inspiration for you using the new sets. But before we get into all the new loveliness, I just wanted to mention that, as many of you will already know, Picket Fence Studios is located in Louisiana. Nicole and Matt suffered a direct hit from the recent hurricane. Therefore, there will be delays to shipping orders as they try and work through their current situation. Please be patient. They're working very, very hard to get your orders out to you. We know how keen you will be to get your new goodies and Nicole and Matt will be doing the best that they can to get them out to you. So without any further ado, let's get started with the new release. I'm going to start off by sharing the items that have a sort of Christmas holiday theme from this release and the first of those is this slimline double tree stencil. So here is the stencil when I've removed it from the packaging. I wanted to just see or to show you how these two sections work together. So this bottom section here I used to create my sky on this card. So I took this stencil and I laid that down and then I ink blended uh, the top part of the panel. What you can then do is take the other section of the stencil and then you could lay that down over your ink blended section and then you could blend underneath. I have chosen to leave my bottom section white with just a hint of the gold for the snow banks but of course you could blend colour onto the trees you could you can essentially it allows you to create more colour without interfering with the top part of your card so it's a really clever stencil to create the deer on my card I've used this set of dies here this is called the deer family die so you get three dies in the set you got the, the male, the female and the baby. So I just stacked mine up. They look actually like chipboard pieces where on the actual card, but I did some ink blending onto the die cuts and then stack, stacked them up and arranged them over the bottom. And I've added in some gems as well. This is the new Moon Shade Gem Mix for this month. This is the only gem mix that we have to share with you for this month but so pretty. It's got some browns and some silvers and some kind of white pearlescent gems as well. Really really pretty, all in differing sizes of course, just to help create a little bit of variety on the card. So I've just dotted those around um, along the banks and in the sky. But that's not all, there is another die set which is called More Deer Family Dies and you get three more in this set and they are smaller in size but again you can use them to help create a scene. I just chose to use the larger dies on my card for today but these are also really beautiful of course these are actually leaping as opposed to standing still so look re a really good way of creating movement on the card if you use these dies. So now I'm going to start sharing some of the examples from the team. This first card here is from Amanda. She has used the Slimline Double Tree Line stencil on her card and she has also used the More Dear Family dies to create that movement across the panel. I think this just looks absolutely gorgeous. And those clouds in the sky, well I'm going to show you those in a moment. This next card here is from Lydia. She's used the same stencil and if you look carefully you'll be able to see that she's created a reflection of the trees in her snow. Such a clever use of the stencil and of course she's combined it with the Dear Family dies too. So this next set here is Winter Has Come to Town. It is one of those sets where you can just stamp and colour or ink blend if you don't want to colour. There are some great examples of this that I'm going to show you shortly and there is also more inspiration over on the website. 
but all you need to do is stamp this beautiful winter scene um, you've got the rows of houses you've got the little Christmas tree banks of snow you've got some garlands around the windows and it pairs really well with a couple of sets that I'm going to show you now so the first of which is called the winter scene building people and it does come with a coordinating die set so as you can see you've got all these little groups of people here you've got someone carrying a tree a couple carrying a tree you've got two two people here with a sled and a sled with presents so as you can see you can really uh, create a lovely street scene using these uh, stamps in conjunction with that uh, winter has come to town set as well. Next up is this little set of cloud dies. You've got three dies here of differing sizes that have the straight edge. So you could use these with this set here, but of course you can use them in any scene building card uh, that you want. It doesn't obviously have to relate to Christmas or winter, but I thought I would show you those there. And I've got some examples with these dies coming up in a moment. Now I've got a few samples here to share from the team. This first one here is from Rachel. She's used the Winter Comes to Town set and has combined it, as you will see from her little Santa on the roof, with the Winter Scene Building People set. I think that's so cute the way he's standing there. This next card here is from Sarah. She's taken one of the houses from that street scene and used it in isolation on her card. But do you see those snow banks at the bottom of the house? They're actually created with the cloud dies. It's such a clever use of the dies. Her background is actually from a stamp set that I'm going to be showing you later on. This next card is from Lydia. She has taken the Winter Has Come to Town stamp and stamped her background in one ink colour, but she's added lots of pops of red by using many of the images from the winter scene building people to create her busy street scene. I really love the colour palette that she's used on her card as well. This lovely card here from Amanda has been created by blending a cloud background and she has overlaid the cloud die cuts on top of that. I really like the look of that and I love how she's added interest onto the clouds as well. So they really stand out. And that little girl and her bear, well they're going to be coming up shortly. This last sample here is from Karen and she created a slimline card using the Winter Comes to Town set. I just love how you have the two layers in that and of course I just love that pretty pink and aqua colour palette. Such a beautiful card and a great way of using that stamp set. And last but not least, there is a new set of slimline envelopes that you can purchase. These are called Tis the Season and you get two colours, seven envelopes of each colour. So 14 in total in the Christmassy red and the Christmas green. Moving on to Halloween now, there isn't much for Halloween in this release. There has been several sets of Halloween items over the past few releases, um, some of which I've used in my card here today. But I wanted to start off by showing you this new word topper die. So this is the Halloween, Happy Halloween word topper die. As you will know from previous releases, you can use this strip along the bottom there to add a different sentiment. You can, of course, leave it blank as well. I chose to uh, add a sentiment on mine for this card. So this was created with the Boo I See You set that I didn't get to use last month, which I have used in the background. And I thought for a little bit of added fun, I would color my ghost orange. I really love this set. I love the expressions on their faces and I just didn't have the opportunity to use it last month. So I'm glad that I managed to get it out for, for this release. So the Happy Halloween is um, stacked up there. I've used three layers of that just to 
create a really solid stack of letters and then I've added in one of the little monsters and sending you monsterly hugs which I think is from the set You Creep Me Out. Yes, it's definitely You Creep Me Out. I used one of the little monsters on the top there and then the sentiment uh, from the set on the strip there. And I wanted to create a shaker. I love a shaker, as you will know by now if you are a regular follower to these videos. And I used the new Sequin Mix Plus, which is called Graveyard Coffins. And as with all the sequin mixes, when we call it a sequin mix plus, it means it has another element to it. And inside of this, you get the, the, the white, the orange, and the black sequins, but you also get these tiny little black clay coffins. Now, it's really difficult to see this on camera. You will be able to see the close-ups on the website, but it's a really fun mix. And um, those little coffins are just so, so cute and perfect for that card. Next up, we've got the second and final of the word topper dies for this release. This is called the Happy Birthday Word Topper Die. And I have created a card with it, but I've paired it with this set here. This is called BFF Livy Girl. Isn't she just adorable? does come with a coordinating die set as well but you've got the image of Livy there and she's hugging a bear I think it really is one of my favorite sets this month you've got three sentiments I think this is an all occasion set I chose to use mine for a birthday and this is the card that I made I went for another shaker again for this card here. I've stacked up the happy birthday word topper there. I didn't use a sentiment this time on this card. And I've obviously cut and die cut out Livy there. And I have used in the background, it's really difficult to see on camera, but there was a tiny little mini set that came out months and months ago, sometime earlier this year, I think possibly even last year, called Raining Envelopes. And I thought that that would be a really nice backdrop for a birthday card. You know, hopefully this little girl's getting lots of cards, wishing her a great day. And because I made it into a shaker, I did use another of the new Sequin Mix Plus um, mixes, and that is the birthday candles. I have to apologise, I don't have my sequins in the little containers this month, but of course they do come in those handy containers. And you get lots of iridescent sequins in here, and you get some candles as well. So it's a really fun shaker mix, and I have got some of the candles in my shaker there, the pink and the purple, just to match in with the colours that I used on the card. This card here is from Alina. She has used the BFF Livy Girl image and die, and she has used it on a slimline card. She also used the Happy Birthday Word Topper die, and it really shows how well these dies can work on a slimline format as well. This beautiful shaker card is from Karen. She has also used BFF Livy Girl, but she has created her against a glittery background using one of the previously released butterfly stencils. She has also used one of the shaker mixes that I'm gonna be showing you a little bit later on. Next up is this set called Capricorn Girl. She does come with a coordinating die. This is about the fifth, I think, of the girls that have been released in this range. And as always, um, they come with the kind of main image of the girl, a sentiment and some accompanying smaller images as well. So this is the card that I created with her. So I just stamped and colored her with Copics and then she was mounted up onto a background that I created with the one of the snowflake stencils that came out a month, a few months ago, and one of the new paper glitz colours, which I'm going to show you in a moment. So she's just popped up with foam tape. I have used some of the gems from the 
moonshade mix that I showed you earlier. That's this mix here, the only mix for this release. So I just created a little line between the stenciled and white area just to kind of section it off a little bit more and add a little bit of sparkle to the card. But that is Capricorn Girl. And I'll move on now to the three new paper glitzes that are being released this month. So here are the three new colours. This is Pink Prom Night, Silver Bells and Navy Wingtips. So I'll just turn them upside down so that you can see the colours there. And I'll be sharing some cards using these two in a moment. But this is the colour that I used on my card. And you can really see here the different layers that when you receive your glitz, this is how it will look. I've got a little bit of press and seal in between my lid and the pot, which is a really good way of um, making sure that your lid doesn't get stuck on the, on the pot. It's a, it's a great tip that I picked up from Michelle Lupton. So anytime I use one of my glitzes, I now, once it's been opened, I then put a small circle of uh, press and seal over that just to make sure that I can get that cap off really easily. But you can see here that you see the layers and obviously before you use it, you need to stir this up. You don't, you want to be careful that you don't create any bubbles in it. So you just stir it up gently and mix all that gorgeous glitter and mica in. It really is so pretty. It's always difficult to show how sparkly things are on camera, but I'm just going to tilt that up to the light there. And I really didn't use much of the paper glitz. You don't need a lot. Um, it's almost a less is more type of medium. It does have such a lot of sparkle in it that a thin layer will really give you a beautiful uh, sparkly card. I've got some amazing samples to share with you now. This one is from Julia. She has used the navy wingtips paper glitz and she's used it to colour her die cuts. That is the Dream With Me cover plate at the top of her slimline card. And she's also used it and the two other colours on the houses at the bottom. So gorgeous. This sample here is from Erica. You can see that she has also used the Navy Wing Tips Paper Glitz with a stencil for her background behind Capricorn Girl. You can really see the sparkle in this card. I think it looks fabulous. It almost glows. This fabulous card here is from Michelle and she shows really clearly how well you can use paper glitz to accentuate an image. You don't have to use it in large quantities. She's used it on Capricorn Girl's eyelids and her earrings and parts of her hair. So clever. This last example here is from Erica. She really loves her paper glaze and paper glitz. She has used the Silver Bells glitz on her card, again with a stenciled background, but I really love how she has coordinated Capricorn Girl's hair in with the Silver Bells glitz. It looks fabulous. So whilst we're on the subject of mediums, I thought this would be a good opportunity to share this with you. These three here, are Nutcracker Ballet and they are beautiful colours here. You can see there's kind of a silvery colour, a pinky colour and a deep kind of bluey green colour. Now these are called Paper Glaze Lux. Paper Glaze Lux is the newest Picket Fence Studios mixed media glitter based medium. They have a really heavy mica and glitter infusion that's going to bring the maximum level of shine and thickness in a spreadable glitter glaze onto your project. So it has a very unique formula which allows all those pretty colours of glitter to shine. And like paper glaze, it spreads easily through a stencil or through direct application onto cardstock. In fact, you can use it on most surfaces. So it's another fabulous um, addition to the range of gorgeous mixed media products. And these colours here are so pretty. You've got the silvery, it's almost like a pinky silver colour. You've got uh, a pink and you've got the kind of dark 
teal there, a, a greeny blue. And here are some cards using the paper glaze larks. This first one here is from Elena. She's used the details of a wing stencil and she has used all three colours from Nutcracker Ballet and they just look beautiful together from top to bottom, so striking. And she has used uh, some sentiments from a set that's coming up shortly. This absolute beauty is from Rachel. She has used the colour uh, from Pot C of the Nutcracker Ballet Lux Mix and she's used it on black cardstock to create that absolutely gorgeous uh, shimmery sky. I really love how this card looks and I can't wait to try the Lux on black cardstock. This stunning slimline card is from Julia. She has used one of the Paper Lux colours on her houses, but she has used all of them in her stenciled sky. It's so striking with the, um, with the beautiful white lines and the flower pattern. She's also used the happy birthday word topper die. This next set here is called Torch Ginger Tropical Flower. For all of you flower lovers out there, I actually had to Google this. I didn't know what a torch ginger looked like. And as you would expect with a tropical flower, the images that I saw in my Google search were relatively bright. So you get the image um, of the flower, plus you do get a, um, a sentiment as well. It does come with a coordinating die and also another word die. So that word die there is called escape and the sentiment is escape the ordinary. So you can kind of mix and match how you create your sentiment on, on a card that you make with this set. And this is the card that I created. I just went with some watercolour markers, the Karen markers for my image, and I went with pink. I've used the stamped set uh, sentiment from the set, and I created a background for my flower using a six by six movement stencil. And I used the pot A from Polar Ice Layers Ombre set. And that has quite a similar look to the Paper Glaze Lux. So again, um, I'm tilting it to the light there so that you can see the kind of glitter and shimmer in there, but it's such a pretty blue and it's really like, although it has quite a, a heavy glitter in it, it doesn't overpower in any way. It is just so gorgeous in real life. And on this card, I use the new um, packet of iridescent moonshine sequins. So that is this packet here. You've got lots of all different sizes of the sequins. And of course, they're iridescent. So they pick up the colours around them. Absolutely beautiful set of sequins that I know I'm going to be using a lot. I always love iridescent sequins. And these are just absolutely gorgeous. So... That is that card there. Even though I made a sample for this stamp set, I wanted to show you some others from the team because I just think they all look so different. And this one is uh, from Michelle. I adore the way she has colored this. It is so soft and pretty. I love the purple on the tips of the petals. And she's used the word topper die, the happy birthday one, along with a sentiment from the word topper subtitle set. This card here is from Daniel. He has gone bold for his flower in that beautiful red, but look at that subtle background where his, he has repeat stamped the flower in a light gray ink. And he did also use the dye, the word dye that comes with that set as well. So I think this is a stunning combination. And this card here is from Sarah. Just look at that stunning background. Sarah's ink blended her background. She's added some water splatter detail and some sequins, but it just looks so beautiful as a backdrop to the torch ginger flower. 
Okay, so we're moving on to the final two sets that I've got to share with you today. These are both seamless stamps. You've got the falling pine cones here on the right. I don't have a card to share with you for that, but I have got some samples in a moment. So this is one of these stamps that you can use to repeat stamp a background of any size. There's lots of them in the range now. I always enjoy using them, but that is the falling pine cones. There are two other fall themed sequin mixes in this release. You've got this set here, which is the fall flowers. This is a sequin mix plus set. So you also get some little clay flowers in with the sequins there. Head over to the website to check out all the pretty sequins that are in there. That's sort of very kind of pale orange and brown themed with some yellow as well. Gorgeous colors. And you've got this one here, which is called Autumn Breeze. And this is a sequin mix. So no clays in this one golds and reds and browns absolutely gorgeous it is so they would work really well with the falling pine cones this lovely card here is from larissa she has combined the falling pine cones background stamp along with the torch ginger tropical flower i think the combination is just gorgeous and i really like how larissa adds layers to her cards you can see the leaves there the joy is from a previously released set but that's such a beautiful card this card here is from Daniel. He's used the falling pine cones for his background, but he's stamped those in a beautiful forest green. And I really love the addition of the deer. That's from one of the earlier die sets and he's cut that in gold. And I think the combination of green and gold is just beautiful. And last but not least, you've got this set here called Autumn Field. As I mentioned before, another one of the seamless stamps. I've actually used this stamp as a Christmas card. And I'm going to give you a little sneak of it here. This is the card that I've created with this set. And I used an insert, the angel insert from the Slimline die cutting system from a few months ago. But I'm going to be doing a video for this card later in the month. So I'm not gonna go into too much detail, but I have used that set and it is such a pretty set. It obviously works really well for Christmas as well as autumn. I've got a few more samples to share with you using the Autumn Field set. Sandy's card here also uses it for a Christmas card. I love how she used it just stamped in black for her background and she's added colour with that gorgeous snowflake dye over the top. Such a pretty and festive card. This next one here from Larissa uses the Autumn Field set again for a Christmas card, but she has stamped hers in green and I love the way she has cut her deer from felt and she added that red bow on top. And in true Larissa style, she's added all those extra layers and she creates so much texture on her card. This is so pretty. So these are the last four items to share with you for this month. These are the uh, four remaining sequin mixes. These two here are sequin mix plus, so they have something additional in them. In this one here, this is called birthday cupcakes. So pretty. It's got little clay um, cupcakes in there as well. They are absolutely adorable. You won't be able to see them here, but they are so sweet with the little cake with the cherry on top. And um, yeah, that is the birthday cupcakes. And then you've got the winter lady mix here and you've got white sequins, silver uh, star sequins. Plus you have also got some um, clear and light blue drops in there as well. Absolutely beautiful. And these two here are the Peppermint Kisses mix and the Starry Skies mix. These are just uh, sequin mixes. So you've got a mixture of different blues and aquas in there and some little stars. And in this one here, you've got red and, uh, red and green stripy sequins plus some um, silver ones in there too. So absolutely lovely. 
I wanted to share this last card here from Sandy. Sandy has used the Starry Sky Sequin Mix. You can see the little stars against her tree background. She did also use a couple of the deer from the dies I showed earlier and she has used the Slimline Double Tree Line stencil as well to create this beautiful festive card. I just love all the details in this card. It's so pretty. So that brings me to the end of this month's release. Thank you so much for being with me today. I do hope that you've enjoyed seeing all the new goodies along with the team's cards and my cards. So do check out the website for more inspiration and I'll be back to share another video with you soon. Bye for now.